Tater Scizor. This is going to be... I have... So, okay, so I have yet to see Tater Scizor. I have yet to see Marcus Scizor. So I'm gen generally curious as to how different they approach the character versus, like, DEC, right? So... And, and you know what? Me and you are going to be in the same boat. I actually did get a... I did get to fight... Um, one time, Marx's Scizor in bracket, and I have seen, I played against Tech Scizor so many times, and you know what? To have Scizor in the hands of someone like Mutator, I'm just really curious. So we're gonna be in the same boat. Yeah, it's gonna be so dangerous. It's gonna be so dangerous. And already, you can see him starting up with a beautiful combo there. Going for the reset, getting the second set of swords. Oh, and not, all right, all right, a little bit off with the timing with shotgun. Yeah, I actually Ooh. like that though from Flyger, just to kind of like set the pace a bit more for himself, but mm -hmm. Mutator clearly isn't phased. Yeah, it's clearly not phased in D. And be able to recognize that wall splat right there. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> what? He told me he was gonna do it once. I was gonna, I grabbed you, my good sir. All right. Ooh, Metal Claw being able to go all the way through along with the staples. Oki with Swords Dance. Fully charged. All right, Bullet Punch. There, I do Ryan believe Bone Rush can actually punish at a certain distance, depending on where Bullet Punch hits. So it's going to be up to Flager to be able to showcase that. Yeah, he's going to have to like judge the difference himself and actually you know, go for the move. But clearly wasn't, maybe not aware at the time, or judge the distance not to be perfect, but Tater taking that first round. Staples. That move is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Staples is a Hey, great OP, great hit on, oh my god. Right, okay. Uh. Okay, well, I get to confirm. Clean 45, 245, yep. thank you. Perfect block. No, no yeah. perfect block. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You know, did you want more staples? I think you did. Yeah. Oh, no if fun is close though. And the one thing about that too, ooh, I can though. But it doesn't matter. You say they're just gonna keep going forward with the deck. And not only that, we get hard knockdown here. Staples again? No. You wanted to go for a chip. No hey, burst? No, like, no burst? No burst? That's it. Try to go for wake up grab, he's dead. Yep. Yo, all right, all right, listen, 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 listen. You can wake up, grab me, shame. Sh wake up, grab, shame on me. Wake up, grab two, shame on you. Yeah, yeah. Now, wake tater. up, grab three, Flager, I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> <laughs> like, if, if he lands the third one, that's just, he knows something we don't. Like, like yeah, just, he, he, he just, he's on, he's on, like, Yomi somewhere in the sky. <laughs> we, we're, we're no longer in numbers. We, we gotta, we gotta give equations now. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, that was not going to work on Tater for the second time. Yeah, like, like he's just too aware of it. You know, sometimes when we, we're like, we all, we're all human. Even someone like Tater makes mistakes on Oki timing. But like, yo, like on a second time, you thought you were going to yeah. grab me, special one in burst? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, moi, in burst, Tater, me, in front of your face? He while had no you're in the corner? <laughs> Tater had no reason to not push a button there, so it just was not going to unfortunately work out. But let's see how Flyger adjusts. You know, we're moving into game two. Looks like he's still going with Flight, um, with Lucario, uh, Jirachi, Whimsical. Yes, of course, you know, because if he just pops off and starts getting ahead, then we know we're just going to steamroll nothing off of the AO. It, it ain't, I'm sorry, I'm not up there to help you out, so yeah. you're going to have to take real RNG when it comes to getting me out, okay? That's just how it is, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. I mean, starting off around just like normal, but that's where Scissor shines on the defense. Yes, and not only that, with the CA, being able to do a homing cancels right out of CA, being able to not take just CA damage scale, but that hover dash Y, being able to just add on to the damage. Fully charged. That is a high, but it's so long ranging. Catching the bat, the jump. Well, not the dash back. It was a jump, jump forward. Oh my God. I love that unblockable from the No whiff punish. Yep. All right, but yeah, you know what? Who needs a whiff punish when your opponent's sleeping at the wheel right now? Yeah, seriously. When you just have metal falling, you just go in like that. Get an easy, get an easy hit. Oh, yo, punish. he perfect blocked it with the homing cancel. He oh. didn't even need to do that. He could just block, but it, it like, we, we like to be fancy out here. You, you know what? We like to <laughs> we like to set an example. <laughs> like, I'm Scizor, and I'm going to do it because I can. Yeah, why not? That, that is just an execution of live showcase. Right. Oh, he tried to press the button? Yep. Close his turn. Right. So far, look at the patience. Oh, my gosh. I'm surprised we waited so long. But you know what? We wanted to make sure... You know, slow and steady wins the race. Mutator picking and choosing. He has plenty of space behind him. And so far, we got 
four swords on our back. We are the knight for sure, and we are taking charge. Just see it. He has to touch it. This is going to be perfect. And a perfect ending it right.